Hello, and welcome to MacGyver's Grant Public Library's Storytime Tuesday. Tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day, so today we're going to read a book called Pete the Cat and the Great Leprechaun Chase. This book is written and illustrated by James Dean. He's the author, so he wrote the words, and he's the illustrator, so he drew the pictures of our favorite cat, Pete the Cat. Pete the Cat and the Great Leprechaun Chase. This book was published by Harper, which is an imprint of Harper Collins. Oh, look. There's Pete and a leprechaun. The title makes it sound like he's going to have to chase him. Let's see what happens, okay? Tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day, and Pete's teacher, Mr. G, is teaching about leprechauns. The only time you can catch one is on St. Patrick's Day. A leprechaun will bring you good luck, Mr. G says. Now everyone in class wants a leprechaun. Pete gets a great idea. He will open a leprechaun catching business. Pete has a good idea, doesn't he? He's going to make some money off St. Patrick's Day. There's Mr. G talking about the leprechauns. There's a pot of gold and the rainbow and the four-leaf clover. And there's all of Pete's classmates. Let's see what happens if his business works out for him. St. Patrick's Day comes and Pete gathers some supplies. He hangs a sign above his stand. This will be easy, Pete thinks. His sign says, Pete's Lucky Leprechaun Catchers. Look right there. There's Pete's stand, Pete's Lucky Leprechaun Catchers. And this is bait. And then it looks like they've got a net that they're going to use to catch leprechauns. You think that's going to work? What do you think? Let's see. Squirrel is Pete's first customer. I want a leprechaun, Squirrel says. I need good luck for my test. Cool. I'm on it, says Pete. You think Pete's going to be able to catch that leprechaun? Let's find out. Pete has a plan. He will follow a rainbow until he finds a leprechaun. Isn't he lucky that there's such a big, pretty rainbow right there on St. Patrick's Day? Finally, Pete arrives at the end of the rainbow and finds Clover the leprechaun next to a pot of gold. Pete sneaks up behind Clover. Swoosh! Here is a swoosh. But Clover is too fast. Did you think you could catch me so easily, he asks. And look, he's going to say a little rhyme. It's in green. His rhyme is in green. It says, once there was a cat named Pete who thought nabbing some luck would be neat. Then he happened upon a smart leprechaun and he'll find quite tricky, who he'll find quite tricky to beat. Clover disappears in a puff of green smoke. Pete will need a new plan. Poor Pete. He's right next to a pot of gold, though. I don't know. Would you want to keep getting a leprechaun, or would you want to just get some of that pot of gold? That afternoon, Gus visits Pete. Visits Pete's lucky leprechaun catchers. I want a leprechaun, Gus says. I need good luck for my band recital. Pete says, I'll see what I can do. Pete plans to lure Clover out with his music. He plays a jaunty song on his guitar. Before long, Clover dances over to Pete. Just a little closer, Pete thinks. Oh, look right there. Suddenly, Clover starts spinning around Pete. Round and round, Clover goes. Faster and faster. Oh, no. Clover wraps Pete up with the rope. Clover is a sneaky le leprechaun. Let's see what he's going to say this time. Pete has finally met his match, a crafty leprechaun he just can't catch. He'll never win. He better give in or find something else to snatch. That evening, Callie visits Pete's lucky leprechaun catchers. I want a leprechaun, Callie says. I need good luck for my tennis match. Hmm, Pete says. St. Patrick's Day is almost over. There isn't much time left to catch a leprechaun. But Pete won't give up just yet. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think he's going to be able to catch a leprechaun? 
Do you think all of them will get good luck if he does? Pete sets a trap for Clover. Before long, Clover tiptoes up to the trap and sniffs the air. Mmm, I love candy, he whispers, peering under the box. Pete waits very quietly. Now Pete's the one with the rope, isn't he? Can you see? He's got candy under the box. He's got a rope coming around to that, that stick right there. And when Clover puts his head under there, he's gonna pull that stick and the box is gonna fall down on Clover. You think it's gonna work? What do you think? Let's see. Crash, Pete rushes over and checks underneath the trap, but it is empty. Clover skips away. Pete has tried many a plot, but still I haven't been caught. And isn't it a dandy? I even got candy while Pete ends up with squat. Oh, he got the candy. He is a tricky little fellow. Pete has an idea. He follows the trail of spilled candy to Clover's secret hideout. Ooh, it's not at the end of the rainbow. Pete sneaks up behind Clover. Swoosh! Pete finally catches Clover! What's gonna happen? Why do you want me? Clover asks. I'm helping my friends who need some extra luck, Pete says. Luck doesn't come from having a leprechaun, said Clover. You and your friends have each other. That already makes you as lucky as can be. Could Clover be right? Pete is one very lucky cat. A lucky cat does not need a lucky leprechaun. He lets Clover go. Now let's see what happens. Pete decides he will be the good luck his friends need by helping them out himself. He helps Squirrel study for his test and Squirrel aces it. He helps Gus rehearse for the rehidal, re recital, and Gus rocks it. He helps Callie practice for her match, and Callie wins it. Clover magically appears. Good job, Pete, says Clover. I have one more poem for you. While Co Clover played hide and seek, Pete learned something unique. The luck that you make beats luck that you take any old day of the week. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I like that book. Did you like that book? I like Pete the Cat and I like how he learns lessons. And I really like that he let Clover go. I think that was pretty cool. So there's another book that we have here at the library that is kind of a fun book to have, especially right before St. Patrick's Day. And it's called How to Catch a Leprechaun. And we're just gonna do a picture walk through this one. We're not gonna read this story even though the story rhymes and I really like rhyming stories we're just gonna do a picture walk and look at all the elaborate ways people are trying to catch leprechauns and this book is kind of similar to this book they're trying to catch that leprechaun this one the words are by Adam Wallace he's a writer he's the author so he wrote the words and Andy Elkerton is the illustrator so he drew the pictures and who do you see just coming off the cover of that book he's running away I see a leprechaun I see four leaf clovers well, those are three-leaf three, three leaf clovers. Those are shamrocks, aren't they? All behind him. See those shamrocks? Three-leaf. And then there's, oh, there's shamrocks all on the end pages. That's the sign for St. Patrick's Day. And that says, How to Catch a Leprechaun. This book is published by Sourcebooks Jabberwocky. And there you can see there's a leprechaun and there's a dark, might be the night before St. Patrick's Day. Might be St. Patrick's Day. Let's see what happens. Oh, it looks like the leprechaun's up to some tricks. Oh, look at the, the green smoke where the leprechaun has come in. He's got his shoes, all of his laces out of his shoes. There's glitter in her hair. And there's pretend gold coins everywhere. They're not real gold. Oh, and here he comes through the bathroom and look at all the traps that they wanted to set for him. But he put toilet paper all over the room and he put green slime on the toilet. And it looks like the water in the bathtub is overflowing. He made a mess. 
Oh, and there's another trap. What kind of trap is that? I'm afraid to put my finger on it. What if it slams on me? It looks to me like the leprechaun got away. It's slamming down, but he's not in it. He didn't get out of that one. And look right there. That's the same kind of trap that Pete the Cat was using. See, there's this little boy and he's got a rope and that rope goes all the way around the room, up over the chair. Where does that rope go? There's the box and the stick. He wants to catch that leprechaun. Do you think he'll catch him? That leprechaun looks a little bit trickier even than Clover and Clover was a pretty tricky le leprechaun. Oh, he says, I fixed your shoes. They're really quite smelly, so he put them in the sink. What if somebody put all your shoes in the sink? Maybe I would want to catch a leprechaun if he was trying to do all those tricks to me. Look, they tried to catch him, but he zipped through, didn't he? Zipped through. <gasps> this is an elaborate. Look at there. He gave him a, a little tea party. And I see the leprechaun has his tea and he's spilling his tea because he's running. But do you see what's above it? What is that above that? Oh, it is a big old net he's trying to catch that leprechaun with. Are you going to set up a leprechaun trap at your house tonight? Oh my goodness, look. He got caught in his own trap. Oh, and he's got backup. I bet he's kind of glad he's in that trap because those alligators look like they're coming pretty soon. And I see some some shamrocks right here, so I think that that leprechaun is gone. Oh. She's going to throw one of her stuffed animals at him. She's got it pulled back like it's a catapult. And, oh, I see a hat. And I see him off the page. He's gone. He's not going to get hit by the stuffed animal. Oh, look at this trap. <laughs> You think your parents will let you make a trap like that at your house? What do you think? Uh-oh. Maybe not. Maybe not such a good idea. And there's that leprechaun. He's still running away. I think he got away. And this says, your entire house is one big trap. I see a robot that's trying to catch it. I see some sound equipment, every light in the house is on. I see some green all around the outside. Looks like it might be charged, like an electric charge. And there he goes. Look, he wrecked the whole house and he's leaving. Look at all of that big mess he did in that big house that was all booby trapped for him. This at the end says, you'll never catch this leprechaun, impossible. That's a fact. Unless one day a brilliant child designs the perfect trap. Do you think that could be you? <gasps> but who will that child be? I like that picture. Look at them working together. They got blueprints. They got rulers. They're making traps. Hmm, that might be you. Might be you. And it says, better luck next year. If you catch a leprechaun, I want you to tell me. I want you to call the library and let Miss Vanessa know. I want to know all about your trap and what you did, okay? I hope you have a wonderful St. Patrick's Day. And I hope that we see you next week. Have a good week.